and do have a big question about seasons though. Um, I I saw that uh, you is it is it Morgan the year you guys both wrote Matt Matthew Matt Morgan. okay I'm yeah. sorry his uh, last name is Morgan yeah, yeah. okay um, you guys both wrote this uh, the did he write the music and you wrote the lyrics or vice or you guys both did, like did it together he um so like the main riff the bear, mm -hmm. ba -da -da, ba -da -da, he was we were just like chilling at his house drinking and just like relaxing and he had a guitar in his hand and he was just playing random notes and he played like the first like four notes of the season's riff and i was like that's actually really cool mm -hmm. and i picked up like a bass and played what i thought that riff should become mm -hmm. and i made the main riff out of like the random notes that he played and then he wrote the rest of the music that's and, how it all yeah. But I mean, I would say as far as most of our music, like typically Matt um, will kind of like sketch out the music and then come to me and then I will make a vocal melody and then put words to the melody. Okay. Um, but then there's other songs that like I wrote completely on my own. And mm -hmm. So it's, it's always different. But. Let me go back to Stevenson so just because it seems to be obviously it's off dog water and it's very popular still. Yes. What is it exactly about? I mean, I was I was I was singing along with it last night because the lyrics are on Apple Music. Yes. Um, seasons is that a woman or is that a girlfriend no, or I don't? Okay. It's almost like a conversation with uh, your own mental illness and like specifically the reason it's seasons cry for no one is because we were okay. kind of like specifically looking at like seasonal depression. Mm -hmm. So it's like seasons cry for no one, but you know seasonal depression. It's it's like a play on words. Um, but yeah, it's meant to almost be like humanizing, humanizing like mental illness and kind of fighting back with okay. your words. So, like, that's good. That's you and good. I were nothing. Don't belong to me. Stuff like that. And yeah. I think that's going to be important because um, that's something uh, that I'd like to put in there is to you know what the meaning is because of yeah. course. Well, at first glance, it sounds like a, like a, almost like a breakup song or something. Or yeah. a season's the name of a girlfriend. You know exactly. Yeah, that's why right. I wanted to have. I had to ask because. Um, I sing it a lot, and 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 it's kind of nice to know exactly the meaning behind it, you know. Yeah, so basically, just about like trying to stand up to your depression, and okay. Almost making it humanizing it and making it like you're yelling at a person, you know. Gotcha. Okay. Um, vitamin R. Yes. Love it. I love it. Has that been one of your favorite things here? Yeah, I love cheap beer. Yeah. So, like Schmidt. Yeah. Yeah, um, well, we have like Schlitz um, and uh, hams. And what's the What's the animal beer? What was that? Isn't yeah. that Schmidt? Was, or Schmitt's, yeah, Schmidt's animal beer. Schmidt's was animal beer. It's is it still around? Yeah, you don't see it much here. Do you don't Do you know what animal beer is? Okay, so <laughs> it's really so cheap beer. Of trout. Like on the outside, of, but it was like I think it's like wildlife on the outside of the twelve pack. So we we just call it animal beer. Okay, yeah, I don't think really I know if. We have that I think it's lo maybe just maybe to hear. We definitely don't have rain here. Yeah, I know. I was we were talking about that on the yeah. way here about how you love the vitamin R because uh, we were passing. Weren't we passing the rain? Yeah, we passed the yeah, rainier the old brewery. The old yeah. brewery. Cause did did you see that while you're here? The old, it's closed down, but you can still see the R at no, the top. I mean yeah. So, um, it, it that was that was very cool. So tell me what else you've you do you think that your voice has has changed as you've gotten older? I mean, do you feel more like it's stronger or more? Yes. Okay. The older I'm getting, the more I feel like, like I have a more powerful and more reach with my voice. Okay. So hopefully that keeps on going. Yeah. yeah. Have you had any kind of vocal training at all? Uh, yes, I did. Okay. Very minimal. Uh, maybe like one month I went weekly um, with the guy guy a piano player um and i basically just learned how to warm up mm -hmm. and make, uh, do range exercises so i mean occasionally i'll still warm up but i usually will just kind of run it on stage and sing which probably isn't great but yeah i don't do a lot of prep work well blaine who you met uh did you meet blaine hammond yes okay so blaine hammond and john evans who you will meet Took the same vocal yes. Vocal yes. Did I? T I probably already. Yeah. Sorry, I, I forgot what I no told you or not. But I think that's cool, and it's yeah. such a small world. Yeah. So, but um, yeah, I uh, I love 